Your Excellency, first I want to convey my very heartfelt condolences to the families, friends, and the relatives of the uh, deceased students, and uh, similarly to also convey my deep sympathies to the University of Kenyatta, the faculty, and all the family, all the fraternity of Kenyatta University for the roles of these uh, uh, students. Your Excellency, these 11 students died at a very young age. A number of them were 21, 22 years. Indeed, it was at the very prime age that they passed on. Their dreams, their aspirations, and the potential they had ahead was enormous. Due to the hard work, they had positioned themselves to serve this country in several other ways in the future. And indeed, uh, the opportunity was there for them. But unfortunately, the worst animal man took the merit of Ituari. There's nothing we can do at this particular time apart from to cling the promises of God as passed over and as we have gotten the message very clearly from Reverend Kamau. God works out in miracles because time like this, we are informed and told very clearly that his grace is sufficient and indeed his power becomes perfect at a time of weakness like now. We are also equally told because we have to cling the promises of God that his peace surpasses that uh, uh, that we can never imagine uh, any kind of understanding. So upon the families and all of us, we have the confidence and the faith that indeed the peace and the grace of God will be upon the families so that they can be able to be comforted, strengthened, and soon enough, they will be able to heal out of this uh, tragedy. We have had quite a number of accidents in following our school vehicles and the universities. And Your Excellency, uh, when we investigate and get to know what really happened, we come to confirm, we confirm that a number of these accidents can be avoided. Almost 50, 60 percent of the accidents we have had in our roads are avoidable and actually some of them are made because of human error, uh, party judgment uh, sometimes, and uh, we are asking about uh, our drivers on the roads and all of us to be very, very cautious when we are uh, driving in the roads because we can see the kind of roads that is coming to the country and the families that would have been avoided. And that's why I'm sure moving forward, the government is coming in very, very strongly to tighten the rules to make sure that we don't have the kind of occurrences that we have had in our roads leading to the human dose that we are experiencing here today. Ever since it happened, uh, Your Excellency, the government of William Samai Ruto, from that night, we have been cooperating very, very closely with the Vice Chancellor and the Chair of Council in mobilizing all that was required, particularly in airlifting uh, those who were affected from Foy up to Avenue, uh, uh, Avenue Hospital. And I thank uh, all of them because they came in very handy and we were able to evacuate as quickly as it was possible those who were affected almost the same, same night. We also thank the staff, the doctors, and I think even those of us, the doctors who have not gone back to work, we should be able to run from this. The four, the four uh, in Taita Taveta medical staff were able to respond in record speed, and they tried as much as possible to save human life. 